Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Now that I have this filter, that you can see what's going on inside the flame, everything that I have done in the past, I can do again. And it would still come out a whole lot better. Because you can see what's going on inside the flame, which is very, very, very important. Okay? So, today, I'm going to do a quick conch shell. Yes, I've done one of those recently, but this time, again, because I've changed the angle, you can see it better. And actually, I'm going to use this for the conch shell. Heat that up a little bit, make a little bit of a Maria going on in the middle, or a bulb. Press them together a little bit, not, and keep them. That's another thing you can try and practice is heating up two pieces of glass and then uh, pressing them, but then also making them spin even like this so it's not wonk, 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 wonk. Anyway, you'll understand the principle. Next, we're going to um, pull it out into a point. That's where the uh, bottom of the shell is going to be. And this side, we're going to pull it up into a little smaller point, a, a, bulb, a bulbous point. But it, like an ice cream cone with a point instead of a, a, a swirl. Okay? That's where we're at right now. An ice cream cone with nice one scooper on there. Yum. Okay? Now we're going to do what I call um, sort of a, I can't explain it, coil potting, but it's also a lace at the same time in some respects because I'm sort of touching and pulling and going away. And I'm heating up the glass and adding it to where the conch shell is. I'm going to do this probably one or two more times, back and forth, until I say that's enough. Okay, I'm going to do it, well, now that'll do, that will do. Okay, now I'm going to heat that and make sure it's flowing in there real well. Oops, don't want it to collapse. Get out some tweezers here. There we go. And that little, this is the lip to the conch shell. And don't worry about the length of how the lip looks right now because in a minute or two I'm going to reshape that whole lip anyway or, or the bottom part of it to be a little bit more condensed. And right now the next step is the corkscrew swirl is what I call it. And basically using that same pattern that I did to make back and forth to do the coil pot, now I'm only going to do it in one spot. But I'm doing it at an angle going upwards. Going all the way around this conch shell. And the next loop goes right to the top of the lip. Of the outer, the outer lip there. And the, the next one goes a little bit higher than that. And so on and so forth. Until you reach the top. Okay. We're going to do these sort of like spiky dots that I do. Touch and pull, touch and pull, and keep going all the way around, following the spiral. Now this next step can be left on or left off, or if you did this with color, it works out really well and you've got a nice colored uh, conch shell as it is. Actually, yeah. Now I'm going to do a bale or a loop on the top. And I usually do those simple ones by doing sort of like a question mark above, question mark above, and then I heat it. You know what? Let's see if I can do this. Stretch it out. There we go. Just a little bit. There we go.
so you can see more of what's going on outside the plane. Seal that together well. Never hurts to have a graphite rod to like so. Now the bottom half. And then after that, I'm going to add some silver fume to this piece to give it a nice gold shine. Never have figured out why silver gives it a gold shine, but hey, not one to ask the reason why, but to do or die, right? Now I'm going to, you can shape the conch shell like you want, and there you go. Just as is. Simple but effective. And now, some people call it, if you're from France, it's pièce de résistance. But if you're from North Carolina, it's paste of resistance. No. Okay, now, when you're doing silver fuming, you take and get a very li straight line, very, it's not, this is a sharp flame. This is a little longer, straight, uh, you know, just not as much oxy in there. And that's what you need. And on this little piece of glass here, it right about, well, it's not going to focus. There you go. You see that spot? That's a little spot of silver. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm heating that silver up in that flame and then bathing. And look at there. Boom. That quick. One sparkly, shiny, gold, silver, fumed conch shell. Ready for sale. Anybody want it? Anybody want some of them? Just message me. We'll take care of you. I am PayPal ready. And if people want to somewhere down the line contribute to my fund. It's Man of Glass Fire at PayPal. Uh, no, Man of Glass Fire at Gmail. If you wanted to just throw some for my intel purposes, I guess you could say, that I've given throughout the years. And if you think I deserve it, I'll take it. I haven't really asked for money. But I haven't done it for the money end. But I do need money. We all need money to work and, and make this all happen. But thank you guys for being there, as always. Carpe vitro. And enjoy your day.